welcome back. This is Bowser School with an episode of Let's Play Sword of Mana. I'm joined, as always, by Loki. And Loki has been doing some level grinding. So, it is time to see what he's been up to. He is now up to level 5. He's got a good amount of HP, decent amount of MP. He's not going to be using that too much. Uh, power is good. Defense is good. Agility is awesome when you try to level up in Thief like I've been doing. Agility gets very, very high. And he has been working on his sword skills because, well, I don't have anything else. So he is up to level 4 in swordsmanship. I have also been getting quite a few items. Um, as I was doing the level grinding, I'll show you where it was because we technically have not been there before. Uh, but I have gotten a few items while I was out there. Uh, we do have uh, the event items. I do have one blood pouch, uh, so I have been fighting the bat mouses that we've been talking about. And I still have that barbecue newt that Luke gave us. I don't care if it's barbecued. It's a newt. I'm not eating it. Uh, we did pick up a few seeds from the bat mouses as well. Uh, flat seeds in particular. And then, oh, there was one thing else in here. The raw materials, uh, they occasionally drop topple cotton. And we'll go over uh, the purpose of all of that a little bit later. Uh, also, I have gotten meat off of them. Three bird meats. Not that I probably will be using that anytime soon. Uh, mystery items, I did not pick any up. And in terms of recovery items, I did pick up two stardust herbs, which helps you recover from physical status effects. Uh, things like poison, um, that kind of stuff, not mental stuff like infusion. Uh, it's pretty standard in a few RPGs, and well, they continue it here. So let's go to the to topple outskirts. This is where I've been doing all my level grinding, and I've been feasting on rabbites and a batmos. Uh, usually, the Batmos is up here. Did he drop anything this time? No, no, he didn't. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, the last enemy is the only one that will drop a treasure chest. Ah, oh, Batmos down here this time. Now, normally with the sword, uh, you cannot really hit the, the Batmos with any consistency. However, uh, because I have leveled up agility so much thanks to the thief, class, I can take them down pretty damn easy. Let me get a Starduster out of that. Like I said, the last enemy is the one that will drop the chest. So I would highly suggest not killing the Rabbites last if you can help it. At this point, there's usually just three enemies on the screen. There were some BBs there, but they didn't drop anything for me, so I'm not a big fan. Do you have a path to the cave? Oh, wow, two Batmoses. What are you looking out with these? Ah, sword level up! Death blow, go! Did not kill him, but that finished him off. What's in the treasure chest? Come on, blood pouch. More flat seeds. Fair enough. So it doesn't look like I can get up there. There is no way for me to go up there. And more enemies have spawned. Ah, crap. I left with a rabbite as my last enemy. At least he still dropped something. Probably a gumdrop. It's usually a gumdrop. So if you're low on healing items, that's how you can get those. But at this point of the game, just a little amount of uh, level grinding will really, really help you here. Uh, you can, of course, cut all the grass, pick up more weeds and that kind of stuff. Not that I probably ever will again. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan. Okay, there's got to be one more enemy around here somewhere. Maybe down here? I don't see where this enemy is. Oh, there. Another rabbi. Hooray. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Did he drop something? I'm going to assume no. Alright, so, uh, once again, nothing to go, nowhere to go up here. Damn it. <laughs> I st stayed on the screen too long, and I've been poisoned. Uh, poison in this game isn't that crucial that you need to, to fix it immediately. Um, it, it does go away after a little while. As you can see, it's already gone. So... It's not vital that you absolutely fix that immediately. No, I'm not fighting them again. I know they're going to spawn. Yeah, I'm just moving. We've made it to the topple outskirt. To Cascade Cottage. Isn't that where the swordsman I heard about in Topple lives? Yes, yes it is. This is where they told us to go. There's a letter on the table. 
That's what I just said. How observant can you be, Loki? Just do a little, a little more observant. That'd be greatly appreciated. Head to Wendell, and we'll meet up there. Uh-oh. So you are one of Realm's heretics hunters. Heretic hunter? With the Realm? Wait a minute. What are you talking about? What have you done with Sir Bogard? I haven't done anything. You're lying. Ow. Ow. Stop hitting me with your stick. Why don't you draw your sword? Just like you did when you destroyed my village. I'm like the same age as you. What the hell? Hold on. You've got it all wrong. My only enemy is Dark Lord. And if you're one of his minions, I will draw my sword. Me work for Dark Lord to get real. Dark Lord is the sworn enemy of my village. Okay, so neither of us works for Dark Lord. Congratulations, Loki. You figured that out all by yourself. Let's calm down or we won't get anywhere. So you hate Grounds Realm too? Um, here, it's a letter I found. It must be for you. What? This is it a letter from Sir Bogard? What? What? <gasps> oh, she's going into epileptic shock. No! She's called something. What is that? It's the Light Spirit, Wisp. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm Wisp, a Light Spirit. That's what your name said. Recovery from attacks and such is my specialty. How do you do? That's a Light Spirit, isn't it? Can you actually use spirit magic? Apparently she can, because she just summoned it right in front of your face, Loki. You've never seen a spirit before? They won't appear to bad people. So I guess you're probably not too bad. Okay then, I'll teach you how to use magic. First select spirits and the magic you want to use, then press the R button, pressing the R button calls the spirits, and letting go of the button releases it. How long you press the button determines whether it uses attack or support magic. Have you got it now? Sure, because you're not going to explain it any better than that. So I can use it too. Oh, that's right. I forgot the letter. I didn't know it was for you when I read it. Sorry about that. It doesn't say anything. It's just like, meet me in the town that we were going to anyway. Just as I thought. It's Sir Bogard's handwriting. He's alright. Oh, good. Going to have to visit Wendell. Going to Wendell. Would you mind if I tagged along? How come? There's a sage in Wendell by the name of Sibba. Yes, I've heard of him. Are you going to see him? Y yes. Yeah, something I need to ask him. Alright then, let's go to Wendell together. And... Wow, we did a little spin. Because Misa has joined our party. The master over at Vinket Hall sealed the cave to Wendell. We've got to go to Vinket Hall before we can get anywhere. So, we do have a new ability, I guess you could say. We can we can call spirits with her. We can't really call them with him just yet uh, but I do want to save at the statue right here and I'll be right back okay with that done we can head over to the east we'll encounter cliffs on the way to Wendell but we can jump up them we can surely we can oh look at that jump I've learned the jump ability yeah because I didn't know how to do that before apparently you can jump by pressing the L button thank you uh, so uh, as I had mentioned, only the heroine can uh, summon uh, the summon Wisp, I should say at this point. Uh, not the Wisp, just Wisp. Uh, yeah, the hero cannot. Loki cannot. So if you are playing as Misa, you can summon. For instance, if I press R right now, nothing happens. But if I press L, if I press L, nothing happens here either. It's too high. Holy crap. Crap! Did you see that? She's freaking awesome! And I got another level up! Hooray! And I got insect meat! Hooray! What I always wanted! Alright, let's go and level up just real quick. I want to put another point into the thief. Once again, HP, MP, power, defense, and agility. That agility is really helping me out right now, especially against these flying enemies, uh, because I do have this sword. And I do have five points in Thief, so now my accuracy is up by five, and my critical hit is up by five. Very, very nice. Alright, 
So this one that you saw before, this was a shorter little cliff. Ah, I don't really care about grinding. Although you can get the honeys from the BBs here if you want to do that other side quest, which I'll probably take care of later. Let's jump up there! Hooray! I knew how to jump! And then we can grab a gumdrop out of that chest there. And that's pretty easy the way that we need to go. It's starting to get dark out. And here we meet Niccolo! Hey, Loki! If you were thinking of cutting through the cave, better forget it! There are metaballs blocking the way! Fear not! I've got the perfect remedy to those pesky metaballs! Remember, there are several kinds of metaballs, and each has its weakness! Quite a pickle! So that only Loki could take care of it! Could you do that for me? Then it's a deal! And as a result of that, we did learn well, that and the previous cutscene with with Misa. We have learned quite a few new notes, uh, so let's take a look at those. Uh, spirits, of course. Uh, there are eight spirits. Light, dark, moon, fire, water, wind, wood, and earth. We've only seen light as wisp. The other, one has n the other ones haven't been named yet, so we'll go over those eventually. You can enable support magic by pushing the R button and releasing it before the spirit appears. And then if you want to do attack magic, uh, you release it after the spirit appears. Uh, when more than one spirit with the same attribute is available, you can use several at once. These attacks are more powerful, but they use more MP. Pretty, pretty basic. Yeah, that was just the one page there. It freaked me out there for a second. Uh, jumping! Hooray! Yes, you can press the L button to jump. We've also learned about metal balls. There are three types of metal balls: slash, bash, and jab. Each metal ball inflicts damage based on its type. A metal ball's type can be determined by its attack method. That's not very specific, so I'll try to help you guys out with that. And I think, yeah, that is the it. Still no friends. <laughs> I'm so lonely. But we can head into the cave right here. We found Batmo Cave. And I did save up my death blow for you, Batmo! I don't know why I did, but I did. Alright, so let's find more Batmos. Yeah, I keep on thinking one of them's gonna drop a chest, even though I, I, sh I should know better by now. No! Get over here! See, yeah, you can miss, and I do recommend level grinding so that you don't very often. Ah, more bird meat. Hooray! Onto the next screen. More Batmos in here. Uh, once again, I did pick up one blood pouch. I don't recommend selling it and taking it in just yet. Another children hood in there. First official one. Oh, nicely done, Misa. You leveled up. Uh, because you want to save and save the blood pouches until you get 10 because there is uh, a special bonus reward that you get for that, so don't turn it in unless you're, you know, desperate for money, but I don't see why you would be just yet. And in here we can find another Angel Grail in case somebody dies. Pick on another Batmos that was hiding down here. Do you drop the chest? You do. What did you have, Stardust Herb? Nice jumping. Somehow Misa made it all the way up there. Just walking across. So, this place is huge and empty. And there we do see our first meta balls. And as you can see, I can't really hit them. Nothing seems to go through. So what we need to do is we need to switch to Misa. And we need to start using Wisp attack magic here. Uh, using the R button, just holding it down, and then releasing in time. Those are really the only ways that you can attack them right now. Unless you somehow picked up a separate weapon. Uh, because, well, you can't really hit them with the sword. That's not the last enemy? It is the last enemy, but he didn't drop anything. Damn it, why didn't you drop anything? Oh, fine! You have a healing skill, why not... Use it on me. I'm more important, damn it. Die, Chobin Hood! No, don't hit me! No, you didn't drop anything. Uh, these Chobin Hoods <laughs> occasionally drop. Ah, dodged. They occasionally drop their bows. And as you can see, it's a pretty easy attack to dodge. They give you all kinds of warnings that they're about to, to attack you. So feel free to run around the side. I didn't do it there, but feel free to do that. 
And there we go, I've received a bow. Attack magic trajectory is determined by which weapon you currently have equipped. So now we do have a bow, and a bow is going to be very useful against these guys right here. So let's go ahead and change our weapon over to the bow. So now I can just fling arrows at them. No. There we go. And I've leveled up. Hooray, she healed me too. I love you too, Misa. All right, another point into uh, Thief for now. Yeah, we're going to keep going for Thief. I want to get that up to level 10 before I start going for other things. Then there was a Batmos here. No, die. There we go. Now we can head over to the right. You do want to try to vary uh, your attacks. Uh, your attacking weapon, I guess you should say, a bit. Um, oh yeah, we need to jump up here. No, because if you if you stick with one thing the, the entire time, uh, you'll eventually encounter, like this one, a dungeon where everything is strong against what you have. So you're going to want to vary that just a little bit. You have to jump off of that. I don't know why. Why don't you bring the Pokemon rules into this? If there's a ledge. You should be able to do it. Alright, let's do the special bow attack. And miss. Hooray, that's exactly what I wanted to do with that. Come on, special bow. I have to be... It still uses the sword. There we go. <laughs> you, you apparently still have to hit him in order to... To get rid of it, otherwise you just swing and miss. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't realize that. I don't think I ever missed before. 